Welcome, 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 everyone. Thanks for tapping in. Thanks for stopping by. How's everybody doing? Hope everybody's feeling amazing. Thank you, guys. I really appreciate you for all the likes, the shares, the comments, the subscriptions. If this is your first time here. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my A1 Day 1 job. You know how we rock. We love keeping it real over here. We love keeping it real. We don't sugarcoat shit over here, okay? We tell it like it is, okay? We tell nothing but the truth. Nothing but love here. No negativity. So we're going to hop right into this energy. Clarifying life situations here. So let's see what the Divine Spirit wants to reveal to you at this time, Collective. The Masculine. Holy Spirit, what would you like to reveal to the Collective? What do they need to know? What do they need to be aware of? Please and thank you. At this time, out of love, light, and truth, only please, Holy Spirit. Messages for the collective, for the cosmic gods and goddesses. Hmm. Something's coming to the light. What's here, Holy Spirit? What's the messages for the collective? I'll take that one. Oh, ocean of possibilities. What else? What else do you need to know, Holy Spirit? See the potential? What else is here? I never know what's coming out, so we just let Spirit have His way. Divine Spirit have His way. Please and thank you. What do they need to know? What do they need to be aware of? At this time. Messages for the collective. Okay. We got Ocean of Possibilities. Then we have Seed of Potential. Then we have Desert of Isolation. No Illusions. So, let's check this energy here. Let me see. What I'm getting here is that whoever you are, you have, there's a lot of things on the horizon, lots of possibilities that can unfold for you. You have plenty of choices, plenty of path, paths to choose from at this time. You have the seed of potential here. Okay, it's sprouting. It's promising. Things are looking promising for you. Okay, wow, very promising for you. Whatever, whatever it is, whatever ideal you have, whatever the desire is, this thing that you love doing, it's going to manifest into something really beautiful here. Okay, just pay pay close attention to it and nurture it and take care of it and watch it grow. Okay, because you, you have a lot of potential. You have an ocean of possibilities here, whoever you are, and plenty of paths that you could take to get to this goal, whatever this is, whatever this thing is that your heart desires. Okay, but just you planted the seed of potential and there's an ocean of possibilities since you did that. Whoever you are, okay? Whoever this resonates with. If it doesn't resonate with you, please feel free to share it with someone else. Okay? And then we have Desert of Isolation here. So what I'm getting here is somebody here is a survivor. Okay? Somebody survived something, a traumatic situation or something like that. Okay? Wow. Wow. You may have felt alone, facing a lot of obstacles by yourself. But you were resilient. You were a survivor. You made it. Okay. There was a... When I say a lot of obstacles that you overcome in your life. You don't fall for illusions anymore. Because you're, you're grounded. You embrace whatever truth it is. Whatever this traumatic thing is that you went through. It 
It caused you to embrace reality. And it caused you to be more grounded. To stand in your truth. Okay? You acquired a lot of wisdom as you navigated through whatever this was. These obstacles, these challenges that was put before you. Okay? You navigated throughout your life whatever this was you may have felt so so alone like you was in it all by yourself you had no one to help you no one to get you through whatever you were faced with but you did it you are a survivor wow you believed therefore you received you didn't go for any illusions or you're not going for any illusions anymore Maybe somebody kept presenting illusions to you. Lies, deception, you know, backstabbing, betrayals, trauma. Whatever this bad experience is that you had, you were resilient and you survived it. And the universe is proud of you. That you're not falling for the illusions, the things that kept you stuck, the things that kept you stressed, depressed oppressed you're not falling for that shit anymore you have plenty of seeds of potential and now there's an open a open ocean of possibilities available to you now whoever you are you made it you made it in the universe is so so proud of you What's here, Holy Spirit? What's collective made to be aware of? Clarify this message for the collective, please, and thank you. You have, I well, do see like unexpected income, but wow, ocean of possibilities. If you're faced with any type of court case or any type of litigation or anything like that, wow, you're going to win. You're going to come out victorious, okay? There's plenty of routes for you to take to navigate and get around this. You have an ocean of possibilities, okay? Whatever this is, whatever this case is, they can't make a stick on you. Whoever you are, if you're going through a court case, you're gonna be victorious. Okay. You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna like <laughs> float right out of this like with ease. Okay. Somebody thought that they could get you bound to something. They may have had you serve some papers or a secret indictment or something like that. But it doesn't hold any weight, is what I hear. It doesn't hold any weight. So they can't do anything to you. Let's clarify this next one. You're going to walk out of that, that courtroom a free man or a free woman. Okay. Whoever you are. I'm here. No charge. What do you call it? No true bill? Or something like that. Yeah. You're going to be seen in high honor. Whatever you did, you inspired somebody. You inspired some, some sort of official here. You inspired them. You got their attention. Okay. And they seen something promising in you. Okay. And it, and it definitely is not jail time or prison or anything like that. That's not for you. Somebody wanted you. To be faced with all these obstacles. Okay. <laughs> but you survived it all. You're resilient. You're still strong. And you gained respect of a lot of people. Especially in the judicial system. Whoever you are. What else is here? Desert of Isolation. Yeah, somebody wants you in poverty. Somebody wants you to lose everything. Okay. 
somebody created a lot of obstacles and challenges for you, okay, along your path. That made you feel like you were all alone, okay. Wow. Yeah, made you feel like you were by yourself. But you may have spent some time alone, and when you spent time alone, you were able to reflect what they were trying to do to you, and you were determined to survive, and you did, okay? You did. You survived, and it fucked their heads up that you came through this, you got through this, and you, you didn't do it with their help, okay? And you've been honored for that. You, you gained a lot of respect. Whatever you did, however you got yourself out of this situation, you gained a lot of respect from a lot of official people. This is my illusions. Somebody wants to see you lose everything. We're going to go a little deeper. But what's this no illusions here, Sphere? Please clarify for the collective. Is this no illusions? I have to pick the card up. Two of them fell. Oh. Wow. When I say because you're so authentic and true to yourself. And you gained a lot of wisdom. Somebody wanted you alone. You're not going to be alone. You got unexpected income coming in here. And that's no illusion. Because you stood your ground. Okay. You embraced reality. Alright. And you gained a lot of wisdom. You gained a lot of wisdom. I mean... You're just an authentic person, whoever you are. Somebody tried to get you caught up in some shit. But you were able to navigate through it. You were able to see your way through it. With your own wisdom. With your own wisdom. Okay? Because you embraced reality. You saw shit for what it was. You saw what these people were trying to do to you. But you overcame. You conquered. And you defeated the enemy is what I'm getting here. Maybe this was a lover that, that tried to get you in some trouble or whatever. Um, yeah, somebody that you were possibly in a relationship with here. Okay. Wow, maybe they wanted to see you out of work. They wanted you to lose something here. Okay, yeah. We got wealthy man in the reverse here. But they was not able to, they were trying to steal not just your money, your wealth, but your freedom. They were a thief, okay? They didn't think you'd make it back home. Out of this court situation here. But you did, okay? They wasn't expecting anything to change for you. It's just, at least this is what they thought. They thought that you would stay in prison. Ain't that some shit? They thought that you would stay in jail. Hmm. But you came out stronger, wiser, resilient, and with more respect than one can ever imagine. You were wrongfully accused, whoever you are, and you showed them that you was wrongfully accused. So what do you want me to go, Holy Spirit? So I'm picking up this as a lever. Or somebody that pretended to love you to try to have this done to you. Yeah. Let's see what they had to say. Holy Spirit, what is this? What message do you have for the collective? Yeah. Now this person don't want to be alone. They don't they didn't they didn't want you. You know, they didn't care about if they left you alone. You know what I'm saying? When you was going through this court situation, now they don't want to be alone. 
Okay. Will this change? Oh, they don't like the verdict. Not guilty. <laughs> they knew for sure you was going to be found guilty. But you're going to be found not guilty if you haven't already. Yeah. They don't want to be alone, though. But they mad you being alone. They left you out in the cold. You know what I'm saying? They wasn't there for you to have your fucking back. Mm-hmm. Maybe you asked this person, will you leave me like, like the others? This one that was supposed to love you? Yeah. The one that wanted, that's the main one that wanted to see you lose everything. Of course you don't want to have shit to do with them. You don't have nothing to do with them no more. Yeah. And now this shit, what they did to you. They thought they were going to defeat you and have you locked up for a long time. Shit. Now they feel like they're eating them up inside. They're eating them alive. Because they wanted you in poverty. But you came out stronger. With more clarity. You know what this person tried to do to you behind your back. Have you locked up. Have you in solitude. Pretending to love you. Pretending to care about you. They didn't want to set you up. That's what Spirit said. Yeah, it's like they were better with their mind than their heart. Yeah, because they, they thought that they had you. They, they, they thought that they had you where you would be locked up for a long time. But see, that, that wasn't your destiny. Okay. Hmm. What else? Tell us more about this fake-ass lover. They didn't know you had all this potential. Yeah, this person hurt you, but that hurt is what made you so re resilient, so strong to be able to withstand whatever obstacles they were throwing at you. Gave you more clarity to see what you was really working with, who you was really dealing with, who was being fake with you, and who was being real, and who wasn't. That's why you gained all this respect. Because you never backed down. You stood in your truth. And now you got all this respect. And this person is confused. Yeah, to my why do I feel so lost? Yeah, they feel lost because shit, they didn't get the outcome they was expecting. Mm-hmm. You wanted out of that situation. You wanted out of that court situation and you got out of it. You're resilient. Strong willed. And now this person is feeling lost. They don't know what the fuck to do. They know they hurt you. It's eating them alive that they couldn't beat you or defeat you or keep you locked down with their lies. Wow. You didn't fall for the illusion. You know this person put these obstacles in your path. Or they set you up one. Let's see. Give us something else. They really wanted you out. You know what I'm saying? Out of their life. For good. They were trying to get you locked up for a long time. Whoever you are. But it didn't work out. Yeah, it says, what do you see in me? What do they see in this person, Holy Spirit? Since they want to ask the damn questions. Huh. They did the setting up, now they want to ask questions. Well, for one, you see that they're a liar. For two, you see them for the for the uh, the damn betrayer that they were to you. Okay. Wow. You definitely don't have no sexual desire for them. Okay. Yeah. They know now that they wish they could change things because the outcome that they wanted for you to be locked up for a long time, it didn't happen. This person hurt you when they turned their back on you. You don't have no sexual desire for them. And no desire for them. You know who they are now. They're nothing but a pretender. Wearing a mask. A representative. A manipulator, a liar, 
who didn't mind seeing you get locked up for something you didn't do. Wow. Tell me some more. Huh. You'll never understand why this person did you that, that way. Okay. Yeah. They know that they blocked. You block their ass, and rightfully so. You don't have no sexual desire for this person. This is somebody that you love and cared about. You thought they cared about you until they left you alone when you needed them most. Fuck them. Yeah, painful memories, but you got through it. Okay. So let's see where else we can go. I know I'm just picking up random decks. Wherever spirit leaves my hands, that's where I'm going. Yeah, they in their feelings because you got them blocked now. You don't want to have shit to do with them. And they wish you they could have done things differently because they didn't know it was going to turn out in your favor. That you weren't getting that time that they wanted you to get. They was only trying to set you up. Let's see what holds you. You have the keys to your own freedom. By standing your truth. <laughs> they dug a shallow grave for themselves, trying to bury you. They fell in it themselves here. It says, I need to put my light on this, y'all. <laughs> oh, they missing you. It says they miss you. They're nothing but a painful memory to you. Okay. They mad. They grumpy and mad. Because you made it through. They didn't expect you to. Okay. See. They didn't know about the waters. It says. Guidance. But where would it lead you? Yeah. They didn't believe that you'd make it through. But it was the waters that carried you. Okay. The ocean of possibilities <laughs> that they didn't see coming. There was a sea beacon fairy. A sea beacon fairy that was always with you. You were never alone. Okay. And now whoever this is. This mildew fairy. Okay. <laughs> we got the mildew fairy out here. You cleaning up the mess that they try to create for you. Okay. It's being cleaned up. The mildew fairy. Things have changed. You changed. Okay. You changed. And this this person is, is furious and grumpy. We got the pink lotus fairy out here. A time for spirit. A time for spirit. This is a turning point in your life right here. That post person might, might, might as well be unalive to you. Because you don't want to have nothing to do with them. Okay. Wow. Yeah, you know it was time for a change. You learned something. Now, now use it to your advantage. Okay. You have so many possibilities. I mean, so much wisdom you acquired when you went through this traumatic situation. Here's what I'm getting here. Or else you want me to go to spirit. Let's see. But she blocked this person out your life. You don't need them. They didn't want you around anyway. They wanted you to lose everything. They wanted you to be locked down for something you didn't do. This is a coward. Mm-hmm. 
And then I'm going to make a peace offering with you. I have some shit like that. Uh, but they received a tower instead. Yeah, their world is crumbling around them. They wanted yours to crumble. Instead, there's a crumbling. They got a tower. Wow. <laughs> they, they got a tower, and that's what the fuck they get. Whoa. Yeah, this was somebody you was in a relationship with here. They weren't expecting you to have this victory. This is somebody from your past. This could be a family member, a friend, or something like that, or a lover. Okay. Yeah, they getting the tired behind this shit. Behind what they did to you. Black cat out here. That's lots of intuition here. You use your intuition. Oh, wow. Yeah, you put an end to this person, a death card. Yeah. I said they might as well be unalive to you. That means they might as well be dead to you because you're blocking their ass. You don't want anything else to do with them. Spirit said that's the truth. The Ace of Swords. Okay. They could have had the help of others that collaborated against you to try to set you up. But it didn't work. Okay. Yeah, they were trying to be sneaky with the Seven of Swords here. And get you caught up in some shit that you had nothing to do with. Here. Okay. These were people that did not, you know what I'm saying, believe that God could turn things around in the worst situation. You could be in the worst spot and feel all alone and feel like there's no help. But you you were resilient. You believed. And these motherfuckers, they don't believe in God. They don't believe in none of that shit. But now they see that miracles do happen. Because, see, the will was in your favor the whole time. It wasn't your, your destiny to be locked up. Okay. But they tried it. The lies is being exposed by this emperor or this wh whoever this person is is in charge here. You you're being highly respected here. Okay. Wow. You can rest now. I'm here. You can rest now. This shit is over. It's about to be over. Okay. Wow. You're about to get some communication if it's not over. That. You'll be finding out that the court situation is done. No true deal. They don't even want to deal with it. Okay, it's going to come out the blue. This person wanted you hurt. Okay, they wanted you set up. They wanted you hurt. They wanted you in pain. Who the fuck is this? This Knight of Wands here. Oh, they got the, they got the news. Now, see, they've been faced with obstacles and challenges because wherever they try to get you charged with, now they're going to be charged with the charge. Wow. Uh-huh. The same ones that, that was trying to win at all costs well, with, with these, uh, with the five of swords here. Yeah. They, they, hey, it was maybe two or three people that went against you. They even helped this person lie on you to set you up here. Three fucking witches or warlocks. Whatever the fuck they were here. But you you were stronger than them. Strong willed, resilient. Okay. Wow. Now they want to go run and hide. Okay, but they know where to hide here. Okay. Wow. With the hermit being in the reverse here. <laughs> Yeah, they might, they might be running. But shit, it's going to catch up with them that they're the ones to set you up. And they're going to get locked up. What else is here? They didn't think you'd make it back home. But you did. Are you about to get some communication that you will be home? Or just your loved one that got set up. Or they on their way home. 
they on their way home. Yeah, they were wrongfully accused is what I hear. What else is here? Just your faith in the Most High gave you strength to persevere through whatever this traumatic experience is or was in your life. Ten of Pentacles. You're going to be happy. Okay? And this person is going to be made to take that lonely walk to prison where they wanted you to be at. Okay? With the Eight of Cups being here. Okay? And you're going to find you a new love. One that respects you and won't set you up like this last one did. Okay? Five of Wands, they are going to be telling on each other. They are going to be telling on each other. Like if I'm going, you going too. Well, I'm telling on you too. They all telling each other. They all arguing and fighting this shit. That's on them. They should have thought about it with the hangman here. That's what Spirit said. Before they try to double cross you and, and do your dirty and set you up for a crime you didn't commit here. Okay, you had hope. You never lost hope. All right. Even when things seem that it wasn't balanced, you know that the truth would come out. Okay, the secrets would be revealed with the moon being here. Okay, and that you would be coming up out of there. And you did. You did. The chariot is here. You was able to move forward. Okay. But, yeah, this person is wondering now why you don't love them no more. How could they dare wonder that shit? Okay. Wow. <laughs> Somewhere whooshing. And the Five of Cups energy. Sad because they know now that you know that they set you up. Sitting in the Five of Cups energy. Sad. Mm, 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 mm. Or going through the dark night of the soul. Okay. But they don't have you anymore. Because they want nothing but the devil. They want nothing but the devil. If you guys were married, they were going to try to run off with your children and everything. Okay, if you were in a commitment and you had children, they didn't even care if your children, if you, you know, if they were taking away from your children. They have you in this four pinnacle stuck in a cell some fucking where. You know what I'm saying? Set up. Because they set you up. And they thought they were going to celebrate. But yeah, they don't get to celebrate shit. You are loved by many and highly respected, whoever you are, for standing up for yourself. For standing up for the truth. Okay? For standing up for your innocence. Okay? Because it paid off. It paid off. Now you have an ocean of possibilities. You can do whatever you want. They was trying to stop your, your movement. Whoever this uh, person you was dealing with, they was trying to stop your movement. Okay? And they had a couple other people working along with them that was trying to set you up. But, you know, like I said, the will is in your favor. Okay? Wow, the will is in your favor, and hey, an end is near for them, all right? It's cleanup time. That's what Spirit said. They're going to have to pay the price, you know what I'm saying, for what they put you through. they definitely going to have to pay the price, all right? I'm going to get one final message from wherever Spirit lead me, so bear with me, y'all. Put some of these away, so... I can still see on my desk here. Let's see. What else is here, Spirit? Miss the collective. This person was unfaithful to you anyway. They were unfaithful. Whoever the fuck they were. Okay, they were unfaithful to you okay yeah they had you fucked up they didn't know how powerful you were or how powerful you are what else somebody here could be a libra 
okay or just justice you know what i'm saying you getting justice at the situation here you may even get paid okay um for being wrongfully accused okay for being set up by these karmics out of jealousy all right even the one that was supposed to be with you and your fake ass friends all right what else spirit they might have left something in your car to set you up and say it was yours. Okay. Wow. And when you need the people most, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people that you thought would have your back, they lost faith in you. But you didn't lose faith in yourself. Okay. Wow. Whoever this uh, person is that they try to set you up, and they family knew all about it. That's what Spirit said. Wow. They family knew all about the setup and the damage they was trying to do to you. Okay. This could have something to do with somebody's sister. They, they, their whole plan was to betray you. And their whole family knew about the shit. Okay. Wow. They plotted this shit. They plotted this shit. But it didn't work out in their favor. Whatever they did to you, baby, they did it to you out of spite. They did it out of spite. Wow. Grab a few more. I don't know who this resonates with, but believe me, be somebody went through this shit or somebody's going through this shit. Yeah, they were only using you. Okay? To say that you did it because they were too afraid to admit that they did the wrong they committed the crime not you but they want to see you go down for it yeah wow what else thank you yeah somebody had a little bit too much to drink that's what they blamed it on something to do with some strippers here I think I resonates put it where it go. Oh, uh, yeah. Now they all quiet now. Because they know they was only using you for a scapegoat. They think they got away. But see, that tower coming, coming for them. They going down. Okay. Because now the officials know, the courts know that they did it. Okay. That they, they know that they did it. And it wasn't you. So your name is cleared. If it hasn't been clear yet, the communication is coming in that your name is going to be clear. That's what I have for you now. And it says you got good news coming in. You may have dreamed of some fish or you have fish or around fish. You love fishing or something like that. Yeah, you got good news coming in. All right, if you got a court case going on here. You got good news coming in from the courthouse. I'm not, I keep hearing a no true bill or some shit like that. I don't know what that means, but... That's what I'm here. No true, no true bill, or whatever. Yeah, the police know, the courts know who did it, and their ass is is going down for it. What they try to set you up for. All right. Till next time, stay safe. Peace, love, and light. Number stay for now.